Community, a production of Sela Broadcasting Network. Buenos dias, Sela family. I'm Mrs. Buchanan, and today is June 1st, 2020. It's also Say Something Nice Day. Say something nice to your family, to your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, aunt, uncle, cousin. Say something nice. Is a smile saying something nice? Yes, it is. So smile at somebody today. It's contagious. A smile is contagious. Try it. Try smiling at somebody. Try smiling at your brother or sister and see if they can keep from smiling back. It's really hard to do. Say, say something nice today. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our weather forecast today is 75 and sunny. Sunny, sunny, sunny. Oh, I'm so excited. I've waited for the sun to come out. Don't forget that Seal is offering a grab and go lunch, breakfast, and snack every day, Monday through Friday, from 10.30 to 12.30. So all, frees are, all meals are free for anyone 18 years and younger. Please welcome Mrs. Tuziant for guess who? Good morning, Sela family. This is Ms. Tuziat with the final week of Guess Who for this school year. Thank you to all the teachers and staff who have participated so far. And thank you to all of you, Sela students and families, for playing along with us. I'm hoping that we'll be able to do this again in the fall as well. So check back on Wolf TV then. So today's clue is that this person, when they were a kid, wanted to be in the Olympics when they grew up. As a kid, they loved roller skating and ice skating. And as a teenager, they love doing gymnastics. I would really like to be in the Olympics. I think that would be pretty neat. Although I don't think I'm very good at gymnastics. What would you go to the Olympics for if you were an athlete? Go ahead and visit Class Dojo. Place your guess for this week's Guess Who under the image for the clue. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Parents, please stay connected to Class Dojo for important announcements and information. Also, be sure to check out Music Monday with Mr. Snyder and Mrs. Bridges on either Class Dojo or Facebook. We need your videos for Sela Junior Moments. It could be a video of something that you've learned, a talent that you have, maybe karate, dance, cooking. Maybe you can make a craft. Ooh, maybe you can show us how to make a pizza. A pizza would sound really good about right now. Send your videos to Mr. Perez at the address shown on the screen. Videos should be one minute or less. Now for a Sela Junior moment. Mamá, aquí están mis, mis dinosaurios. Estos son de mis colecciones. Todo esto. Uh -huh. Aquí van gris, morado y azul. Okay. Aquí va marrón, verde y negro. Uh -huh. Aquí están los animales y hay muchos. Aquí están los PJ Max y aquí están los dinosaurios que no son de mis colecciones, pero más pequeños. Ok. Aquí están mis colecciones de carros que son 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 y 17. Uh -huh. okay. Eso es todo para hoy. Gracias. Today's riddle, I make a loud sound when I'm changing. When I do change, I get bigger, but I weigh less. What am I? I make a loud sound when I'm changing. When I do change, I get bigger, but I weigh less. What am I? Spirit Week is here. Whoop, whoop. Today is Sela Spirit Wear. See, I'm all spirited out today. Tomorrow is twinning day, so dress up like somebody in your family. Dress up like one of your friends. You could talk to your friends on the phone. Hey, what you going to wear? I think I'll wear this. I think I'll wear this. And then you could dress alike. Wednesday is dress up like a career or wear college gear. Mm -hmm. 
So, wear any college gear that you want. I think I got me a hat, and I think I got a shirt I'll be wearing. Thursday, crazy hair day. Crazy hair, could be anything. That's crazy. That right there is crazy. Anything's crazy. Or if you have a crazy hat. Maybe you got a great big sock you can put on your head, and it can be your crazy hat. You can make your own crazy hat. That would be cool. Ooh. Friday is PJs. That would be fun. Movies and snacks. Yes. Next week, this week is so much fun, so much fun, so much fun. I'm so excited about this whole week. Let's take a walk down memory lane with Sela Memories. of our beta wolves. Good morning, boys and girls. It's another magnificent Monday, and you know what that means. It's time for our gratitude quote. But first, I want to say thank you to the people that I'm thankful for today. Miss Tuziant, thank you so much for doing Guess Who for all this time over the last couple of weeks. It's really been a fun way to start our morning off each day guessing. And I'm not very good at it, I've realized. Try to figure out who it is this time. Adrienne, thank you so much for showing us your collections. You had dinosaurs and cars and they were so well organized. I'm very impressed. And as you can see, don't forget, it's Spirit Week. Thank you, Miss Buchanan, for telling us all about Spirit Week. I'm sporting my Sela Pride for our athletics program. Soccer teams, don't worry. We're going to get them the next spring. I know you guys are going to be awesome. So we will get a chance next year to show our Sela Pride with our athletics as well. So now it's time for our gratitude quote of the week. This one is really important because... Sometimes we don't always feel so thankful and I want you to take a look at this one and maybe this will help you. So this says, the more grateful I am, the more beauty I see. And I think this one's really important because it tells us that being grateful isn't just helpful to the person that we're saying thank you to. We always think about saying thank you because we wanna make the other person feel good and because it's a nice thing to do. But it really talks about how when you start to be grateful, it helps you see the world in a more positive way. It helps you see that there are a lot of really good things to be thankful for in the world. And right now is a really difficult time in our world to look at the world in a way that is beautiful. But when you start approaching your day, looking at one thing at a time and thinking about what you can be thankful for, it can make you, you feel a lot better inside. So it's not just about making the other person feel better. Being thankful makes you feel better too. So give it a try today. I know it might feel tough, but I want you to think about your day as you're going through your day and try to find at least one thing you can be thankful for today. And when you say thank you, think about how it makes you feel better to say thank you as well. Well, I hope you have another awesome week. This is our last full week of school this week, boys and girls. And I know you are so excited that we're coming up on the end of the school year and the beginning of summer, and we'll all be seeing each other again soon in the fall. So have a great week. Bye.